Now, I want to pivot to Spencer Rattler and quarterback play and how we are going to evaluate it in 2020 when everything is weird and I think most people are going to give this season something like a mulligan, even if it starts on time, which is still very much in the air. I mean, the official college football season start date is August 29th, and we've had conversations about everything from a shortened season where teams play conference games and then we get into a playoff situation or a bowl game situation to perhaps even moving the games to the spring, which means that you'd see rivalry games like the Iron Bowl played in May or perhaps, you know, the, the DEFCON 3 version of this, which is a canceled college football season, which nobody wants to see. And this idea that you could have an interrupted season, right, which could mean any number of things to which you start the season and then you have another outbreak and then you got to cancel the season and that would suck for all involved, right? Not to say nothing of how the repercussions of that throughout the college football calendar, the recruiting calendar, and seem already in flux and what that might do going into 2021, 2022. That said, Oklahoma on the football field has another problem, right? It seemed like it was going just fine for the Sooners because you returned almost everybody on your offensive line. As a matter of fact, you returned five starters if you're counting Eric Swenson as one, even though he didn't start the last four games at left tackle, R.J. Proctor did. You get Creed Humphrey in a year where he's slotted by many as a first-round selection if he just plays to his ability because his talent grades out at a first-round selection. He just didn't play like that last year, and he has to noticeably improve, particularly against zero techniques that outweigh him by about 80 pounds because Tyler Shelvin and Bravion Roy had their way with him, and that's certainly a part of his game that needs to be worked on. But right now, that's the only sure first-rounder on this offense for Spencer Rattler. Charleston Rambo can certainly play himself into the first round selection if he has the kind of year that he is capable of and certainly the kind of year that this offense allows for where he could catch 65, 70 passes for 12, 1300 yards, maybe 15 touchdowns. And we're talking about him in the first round and knocking out a guy like say Chris Olave in the first round or even Terrace Marshall, depending on how this stuff breaks. But Rattler's already got so much on his shoulders because he's going to be compared not just to the best quarterbacks in the Big 12, Brock Purdy among them, Sam Ellinger among them. Spencer Sanders is on his way up there, but we're not sure yet. Max Duggan is going to try to use that year that he got to play over Rattler to extend his lead as such as it were. But he's going to be compared to the likes of Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields because he is a number one quarterback. He's the best quarterback in the 2019 class. And the guy second to him, Bo Nix, all he did was go and beat Bama, you know, in the Iron Bowl as a true freshman, beat Oregon, a team that run a Rose Bowl as a true freshman. I mean, the resume stacked for wins is looking real good for Bo Nix, even if the play on the field didn't look anything but mediocre. He's also going to get compared to guys like Sam Howell at North Carolina, who turned his true freshman season into one to remember threw for more yardage than Trevor Lawrence. Um, had an outstanding year in which they're a failed speed option two-point conversion away from beating Clemson. And Clemson played in the national championship game. The same sort of story played out with North Carolina when Larry Fedora was head coach where they play him in the ACC title game. They get beat by eight and then Clemson loses their national uh, title game to Alabama that year. He's also going to get compared to other transfer quarterbacks, like I mentioned Fields, because of the number one thing, but also Jamie Newman, who had a great year at Wake Forest, is transferring to Georgia, and could be the guy to put them over the top because Kirby Smart has a Gary Patterson problem. He's a quarterback away, just in a different way, right? Gary Patterson's a quarterback away from having consistent 10-win seasons. Kirby Smart's quarterback away from winning national championships on top of national championships, and Jamie Newman could provide that and also give them a bridge to Carson Beck, who I think is going to be really great for them, and also Brock Vandergriff, who's committed in their 2021 class. Then add to all of that, Rattler basically ran off Bryce Young, who committed to USC and then flipped that commitment to Alabama and is expected to start at Alabama for two and a half, three years, right? Depending on how this Mac Jones experiment goes. Now you lose what many people believe was the most talented player in the 2019 class and the best wide receiver in that class in Jaden Hazelwood. Now, the nice part is Austin Stogner is real good. Theo Weiss is real good. Trading Bridges, he comes back from the five-game suspension, real good. 
right? Also, Charleston Rambo, real good. Marvin Mims could be spectacular. But if it doesn't go well, you might be in a world of hurt. But if it does go well, we're going to talk about Rattler the way that folks talked about Fields last year, the way that you're used to talking about OU quarterback play. And I think that's the one thing that he has going for him that's going to give him the benefit of the doubt. He's got Lincoln Riley as his play caller and his quarterback coach, and he's had a year in the system. And if he's able to put together the kind of year that Fields did last year with Wilson, Olave, Saunders, Austin Mack, Benjamin Victor, then the sky's the limit for him. And it's as it always has been, or at least since Lincoln Riley been there, with the quarterbacks at Oklahoma where we're talking about Rattler being the guy in the 2022 draft class, the way that we're talking about Lawrence and Fields being 1A or 1B in that class. I find this all to be fascinating and very interesting.